Hi everyone, it's Michael here with goodyreader.com and if you would indulge me, I'd like to lay down the law with you all and give you my top picks of the top Android e-readers of 2018. In no particular order. The Boy You Like Book Mars. The Light Book Mars is the most powerful e-reader ever made. There is nothing like it with its octa-core processor, 2 gigs of RAM, Android, and Google Play. It will give you access to over well over a million apps, and the friendly display and color temperature system is really, really good. This e-reader has it all, full specs, and uh, it is one of our top picks as the best e-reader of the year. The Onyx Book Nova. The Nova features a 7.8 inch Ian Carter HD screen with a resolution of 300 ppi. Underneath the hood is a 1.6 GHz quad core processor, which is the same one that the Onyx Book Note employs. There's 32 gigs of storage, 2 gigs of RAM, USB C, a 2800 milliamp battery, and has Android 6.0. It also has a color temperature system and a frontlet display. The Sony Digital Paper. DPT RP1 with Android. Uh, the Sony digital papers always run Android, but the bootloader has always been locked and you've always had what Sony's given you. The bootloader has been unlocked now, and so you can actually now get the Sony digital paper with Android preloaded on it. And what this really does is uh, give you another option in the Sony firmware. So you get the stock Sony firmware experience. So if you want to use the, the DPT as normal, feel free, but there's a menu option now called apps. You click on it, gives you Google Play, lists all your apps. So there's sort of a secondary screen now and it has the ability to run Android apps. Uh, where can you buy this? Well, the easiest way to get it is through our Goody Reader store at goodyreader.com slash blog slash shop. The Onyx Book Note. Uh, the Onyx Book Note is the best e-reader and digital note-taking device that Onyx has ever released. Uh, it is brimming with great hardware and does not lock you into a walled garden like uh, Sony or Remarkable does. Uh, the Onyx Book Note features a 10.3 inch screen with a flexible e encarted display. It, the panel has uh, Wacom and a capacitive layer, which means that you could use the accompanied stylus or use your fingers to interact with the screen or flip pages of an ebook. It has a 1.6 gigahertz quad core processor, two gigs of RAM, dual speakers, and a microphone, Bluetooth, and USB-C. The Barnes & Noble Nook Low Light 3. This e-reader has run Android since Barnes & Noble started making e-readers. They've always run Android and have locked down the ecosystem. So you get a long, same thing with Sony, you get what they give you. But there has been a lot of uh, effort done by XDA developers to make uh, firmware adjustments that will unlock the full Android experience on your Nook Glowlight 3. So if you have the C-Reader, if you're thinking about buying one on sale for like $99 from Barnes & Noble uh, in the United States, you could unlock it and have full flexibility to install Android apps. But if you just want to use the stock firmware, and this is an example of an e-reader that uses Android, but you would never know it. The Goody Reader 6.8. This is the first e-reader that we have ever developed, and it is um, the type of device that is the only one of the size that bridges the gap between a professional and a consumer-based e-reader. Comes with a stylus, comes with a Wacom screen, same with a capacitive screen. It has a built-in case. You could read e-books and you know install your favorite apps. You could flip pages and Kindle, but you could also, you know, edit and draw and, and with our default app it has a modern version of Android, full access to the Goody Reader app store, which is the full uh, app store for our own website, but it is the first app store that's designed for e-ink. So these are our top picks. There are still a few e-readers that haven't come out yet that didn't make our list. We wanted to focus on e-readers that are actually commercially available right now that you can actually pick up. So we left out like the Boy You Like Book Mimis and, and other e-readers like that. So did we miss anything that would 
incur your everlasting ire and encourage you to slander the name of goodereader.com because we failed to mention your your ideal e-reader or the e-reader that you use on a daily basis instead of besmirching our good name drop a comment below and let us know what you think and if you have not subscribed to our, our youtube channel or you're thinking of unsubscribing i'd encourage you not to unsubscribe but to subscribe and hit the little bell button next to the subscribe button so you get notifications whenever we release a new video. Everyone, thanks for watching. For goodybeater.com, my name is Michael, and everybody take care.